Here in the Metro, police train for situations like the one in San Bernardino. The department also has some strong words of advice for citizens should it ever happen here. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake live outside police headquarters with their advice for us. Well, first, here's a sobering statistic. We've had more mass shootings than we've had days this year, and that's according to the University of Alabama Department of Criminal Justice. So that prompts more training and more vigilance for Kansas City police officers and citizens alike. KCPD officials tell me that their training is constantly evolving. PIO Ty Grant says that um, they are ready, that the officers are ready for an active shooter situation. This video that you're seeing is of training held earlier this year. So while police are doing everything they can to improve safety for us. Grant tells us that as citizens, we need to be active in protecting ourselves in a shooter scenario. We all, we all don't have to be heroes, but we also don't have to just sit there and be a victim and let somebody else decide whether or not we're going to live and die. But there might not be something you can do either. So running, most definitely. Get yourself out of that situation. Get other people out of that situation. Hide or stop the situation. And while the San Bernardino shooting happened all the way across the country, Kansas City Police Department is still investigating to see if the shooters or any aspect of that shooting could be related to Kansas City in any way. So far, it is not. Live in downtown Kansas City, Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.